Edutainment Studios welcomes you to Unbended Knee, Knee Problems. This module is part two of a series of seven about knee problems. Although a knee problem is often caused by an injury to one of the three bones, ligaments, tendons, cartilage, or the bursae, it may have another cause. Some people are more likely to develop knee problems than others. Many jobs, sports, and recreation activities, getting older, or having a disease such as osteoporosis or arthritis increase your chances of having problems with your knees. In this course, the objective is to help you. Learn what causes mechanical knee problems and know the different types of arthritis. Some examples of mechanical problems that can cause knee pain include loose body. Sometimes injury or degeneration of bone or cartilage can cause a piece of bone or cartilage to break off and float in the joint space. This may not create any problems unless the loose body interferes with knee joint movement, in which case the effect is something like a pencil caught in a door hinge. Iliotibial band syndrome. This occurs when the tough band of tissue that extends from the outside of your hip to the outside of your knee, also known as the iliotibial band, becomes so tight that it rubs against the outer portion of your femur. Distance runners are especially susceptible to iliotibial band syndrome. Dislocated kneecap. This develops when the triangular bone or patella that covers the front of your knee slips out of place, usually to the outside of your knee. In some cases, the kneecap may stay displaced and may even be visible through the skin. Hip or foot pain. If you have hip or foot pain, you may change the way you walk in order to spare these painful joints. This altered gait can place more stress on your knee joint. In some cases, problems in the hip or foot can refer pain to the knee. More than 100 different types of arthritis exist. Let us discuss the varieties most likely to affect your knee. Osteoarthritis is something called degenerative arthritis and is the most common type. It is a wear and tear condition that occurs when the cartilage in the knee deteriorates with use and age. Rheumatoid arthritis is the most debilitating form of arthritis. It is an autoimmune condition that can affect almost any joint in your body, including the knees. Although rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic disease, it tends to vary in severity, and the symptoms may even come and go. Gout is a type of arthritis that occurs when uric acid crystals build up in the joint. While gout most commonly affects the big toe, it can also occur in the knee. Pseudogout, often mistaken for gout, is caused by calcium-containing crystals that develop in the joint fluid. Knees are the most common joint affected by pseudogout. Septic arthritis is when the knee joint becomes infected, leading to swelling, pain, and redness. There is usually no trauma before the onset of pain, but often occurs with a fever. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for Part 2 of 7 on Knee Problems, and please join us for Part 3.